And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, the finale. Last time we took out the ghost ship, and now uh, we are given the option before entering the final battle to save. So we are definitely taking advantage of that. Now that you've taken precautions and saved, let's climb aboard. Look, it's Tetra Link. Grandpa! My ship! Wake up, wake up, Link. Wake up, hurry up already, Link. Link. Whoa, uh, what? Look at me, monster. Stay calm, Link. That was the bad one. He slashes onto his back. Get behind him and slash his back. He's just said and done. Who's this? Okay, so we have the same mechanic from last time of being at stop time, but the eye is closed. <laughs> so that's a bit of a problem. But about his weak spot, his eye. I stopped timing everything. The eye has to open at some point. Alright, I'll move. It's back to the top screen. Here, I see it. I can see it. Hey, Link, look at the top screen. His eye is open. All right. Here's the Phantom Sphere. Oop. Whoa. He got me. Sorry, Link. Don't worry about me. Believe in the power of the Phantom Sword and battle him. By the way, we do have... Uh, where are they? We do have potions. <laughs> and I do not remember... Why we're at three hearts? Probably because we died. We probably we set a life count of three, which is unfortunate. Also unfortunate getting a game over at the very end of the game, as well. Okay, so we actually have to engage him somewhat in order to get uh, in order to help Ciela. This is kind of reminiscent of the battle with Gamma and Navgard, having to actually sort of engage him. Well, another character is basically buy time for another character. But again, it is unfortunate to me that this fight doesn't include like any powers at all. Uh, it's like kind of a missed opportunity, I feel like. Hey, is this tentacle losing its grip on me? Now, now's the time for a Phantom Sphere. So now we have a Phantom Sphere. Now what we need to do is wait, play the waiting game, wait for the eye to open up, and then freeze them. Like that. Now just go back and just flash them. And so on. Now I do find this fight cool. Oh, how do I dodge this? Oh, okay. Uh, I do find this fight really cool. Um, it's... I do wish some of the mechanics worked a little bit better. I don't think that restores us to full, unfortunately. Uh, I'm saving the other potion because these po the way potions work is they can actually re revive you. They kind of act as fairies, if I recall correctly. So I'm kind of 
Ow. <laughs> God, he did that. Um... Yeah, I've got to dodge this later on. So yeah, you basically have to make it so CL can give you a phantom orb. Phantom Sphere is what it's called. Rinse and repeat. I feel like that dodge window is a lot smaller than I than you'd expect. There we go. Round two. Uh, by the way, actually the Great Spin Attack is actually really hard to trick on this guy because, um... Basically... It's gonna dodge. Basically, when uh, you try doing the Great Spin Attack, you're most likely gonna hit him and just deflect off his armor, which will interrupt your Great Spin Attack, so don't worry about Spin Attacking in this particular fight. Because, you actually, it's really... It's actually really hard to do a Great Spin Attack successfully. There we go. You don't have to hold down the button, but that just, to me, keeps them in place, which I prefer to do. Eesh. Ouch, what's going on here, I thought. Are you okay, Linebeck? You're possessed by Bellum. What? Oh, that's right, I, uh, I, I think I remember something about Link. Oh, kid, I mean, Link, I'm sorry. I know I was possessed by that monster, but to think that I... Shush, Linebeck. If you hadn't set up the Bellum when you did, who knows what might have happened to us? Well, I guess I got caught up in the moment. What? That's not like you. Are you sure you're Linebeck? My ship just took a little uh, damage. Grandpa! Link, Linebeck, and Siela. I've returned to my true form. For that, I thank you. What? Whoa, old man, is that you? Now I would have guessed you looked like that. If not for you, I'd have been sealed up forever. The sea would have fallen into desolation and evil. You saved me and the great sea. Thank you. Linebeck. What? Who, me? 
I have to make good on the promise I made to you. I grant you one wish. What is it? Come on, say it. You want a treasure, don't you? Just ask. Well, that's not it at all. I don't need treasures anymore, I think. Well, I guess if I have to. If you insist. Can you bring back my ship? The one that sank? What, that's it? You know, even if you ask for treasure later, that's it. That's enough from you, Sparkles. You've always got to get the last word, don't you? The sand of hours is returned and peace reigns. The ghost ship will no longer haunt your world. Our world? So what is the world that we are in now? What is this place? The time for you to return to your world is near. The door to your world is about to open. We are inhabitants of this world. We must return to the world of the Ocean King. Thanks, Link. And you too, Linebeck. Your courage will not be forgotten. Oh, well, thank goodness, Linebeck. Now I don't have to look at you any longer. I'm getting tired of seeing you all the time. That's my line. Get out of here. Good riddance. Well, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Thanks, Linebeck. I would like to stay with you, Link, but I'm a spirit. I serve the Ocean King. Now we have to say goodbye. Link. And with that, we have finished The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. A long last, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I said I wanted to let's play this game back during one bigger. <laughs> So yeah, hey, finally, only took two years. Um, not as good as Wind Waker, I will fully admit that. Not as good as other handheld Zeldas, I would say. I would still say the Oracles and Link's Awakening are still better games than this. I'd say Spirit Tracks is better game than this. I'd say Minish Cap is a better game than this. I'd also say uh, Link to Worlds is better than this, but Never forget your first Zelda, I don't think. I think that's that's actually a really good point. That whatever Zelda you play first is the one you have the most attachment to. That feels like the case from a lot of people. Like I know people who like certain Zelda games because that's what they grew up playing, and thus they've still held on to those games uh, throughout. Even if technically better games come out in the meantime, there's still just something special about, like, your first Zelda, I think. So now for Zelda, I guess Ocarina of Time is next, <laughs> now that I've done this. Um, try to go back in order, because if, if I do Twilight Princess first, then I'll dread Ocarina of Time, unfortunately. Because it's not as good. Um, But yeah, um, what else? On the whole, I do think this game is super underrated for $10. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, it kind of feels like Okami then to Okami, where it's like, it doesn't quite hit all the same notes as The Wind Waker though, but it's a pretty solid follow-up, I'd say, and yeah. It's hard to top Wind Waker. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Huh? 
car. Where are we? Boss. Linebeck disappeared, and the ghost ship is back. What's going on? So you were okay all along. I was worried when I heard all the screaming, but you look fine. How about the ghost ship? Was there treasure aboard? What are you talking about? I was almost frozen forever on that thing. Link saved me. You wouldn't believe what he went through. Do you understand what we've been through? Where were you? Did you even look for us? What are you talking about? You were only on that ship. It's only been about 10 minutes. Ten minutes? You gotta be kidding. Do you know what we have been through? I have no idea what you're talking about. How could I? It was probably a bad dream. You're not listening. It was longer than ten minutes, I'm telling you. Huh? That ghost ship is really, really dangerous. It's not there anymore. The ship, it's gone! It really was cursed! The dream you had was to work with that ghost ship! Hey! I told you it wasn't a dream. You guys never listen. So we finished the game. Uh, now what? Well, there's not a whole lot more we can do other than getting all the ship parts, which I'm not going to show because that would take forever. And battle mode you can't do through the Wii version. And also Nintendo Wi-Fi connections down. It was shut down years ago, so that ain't happening. Basically, the multiplayer involves one person playing as Link and the others controlling the phantoms and trying to stop Link from taking force jumps to their base. And then they, like, the two players trade off? It's... well, I've actually never played it, so I can't even say if it's fun or not. But in any case, we are now done with the game, so... Next time, there's going to be a new Let's Play. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time.